Hello again, this is Wes with Tadlock Roofing, another installment for our Roofing University. If we take a look at this uh, small outbuilding here, it's a pool house, um, but it's still important to note the main roof line was on a 312 pitch, and then they added a shed addition on the back that's on a 212 pitch. What does that mean? 212 means that for every, the pitch is that for every 12 inches of horizontal run, there's two inches of vertical rise, and over here there's three inches of vertical rise. Why is that important? This 212 section is as low a slope as you can put shingles on to begin with. And the reason is shingles work because water flows downhill over them and you're not giving enough slope to get the water off quickly, which is why we see some major wood rot issues back here. Okay? And out in the center of this roof, if you can tell, right out there, it's completely collapsed right out there, right out there, completely collapsed. Okay? So what needs to be done is tear all this off, fix the wood, but if you were putting something like this on, and it were 212 or above, but still a low pitch, you'd want to put on something like a Owens Corning Weatherlock G, for example, a self-sealing waterproof underlayment that when you drive a nail through it, it self-seals around the nail. So if water gets under the shingles and backs up, it still can't get through into the plywood below. That's what we do on all low slope areas. We also put it in valleys um, to help make it stronger. but um, that's what you want to think about for a low pitch roof section. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks very much.